Everyone loves a good fight scene, right? Good going against evil, or sometimes even two good guys duking it out over a difference of opinion. And these days, with cinemas bursting at the seams with fantastic comic book movies, there's so many great ones to choose from. While there's a lot more heart and craft in the characterization of the Marvel and DC silver screen supers than ever before, the focal point of many of their movies is still a good old fashioned fight scene. A superhero movie just wouldn't be a superhero movie without a couple of heroes and villains coming to blows, and it just so happens that we're fortunate enough to have seen several wonderful action sequences this last decade. As we're dealing with films exclusively here, don't expect to see any of Daredevil's famous hallway fight scenes. Yes, they are the best, but still, cinema, it ain't. So, I'm Ewan from What Culture, and here are the 10 best fight scenes in comic book movies. Number 10. Sin City, Deadly Little Miho Across Sin City and its so-and-so sequel, A Dame to Kill For, there's a lot of blood spraying action, but nothing quite captured Frank Miller's comic book as well as the short Deadly Little Miho. A skilled samurai in her troop of prostitute assassins, Miho never says a word across either movie. First introduced when her throwing star slices off Jackie Boy's hand, she then leaps onto his car, killing two henchmen in the process. The shot of her stabbing through the roof and impaling one of their eyeballs especially feels like a frame ripped right out of Miller's noir opus. After tricking him into slipping on his own severed hand, the nearby throwing star lodging in his butt cheek as he falls, she then blocks the barrel of his gun so it backfires and slams between his own forehead. He's still not quite dead, so Miho, quote, makes a pest dispenser out of him. Lovely. Number 9. Spider-Man Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin This is the kind of scene they just don't make anymore. Comic book movies have gotten considerably more serious in tone as of late, and while for the most part that's a good thing, no one wants to see Ben Affleck doing the Batu C, let's be real, we do miss out on pantomime moments like this. Plus, people tend to forget just how faithful and true to Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's comics Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films were. The tone was completely intentional. Just saying. After a colourful, cartoonish rampage earlier in the movie, the Goblin's final fight with Spidey is much darker. In a shadowy slow motion sequence, Green Goblin pummels Spider-Man with blow after blow, only relenting when Spidey breaks free and yanks an old wall down on top of him. The acting itself is hammy as hell in this closing monologue, but if you're watching the old Spider-Man movies these days, that's what you're looking forward to. Marvel is a quip a minute now, but it still takes itself way more seriously than it did back in the early noughties. It all ends when Goblin is impaled on his own glider after Spider-Man backflips over it, mirroring the exact same sequence of panels from Jerry Conway and Gil Kane's The Green Goblin's Last Stand. Number 8. Avengers Infinity War Thanos vs. Tony's team Avengers Infinity War had so many blockbuster moments, but without a doubt the single greatest fight sequence went down on Titan. With Thanos having been built up for so long, Josh Brolin's performance really had to deliver. And deliver, it did. While the other Avengers movies have focused on a well-oiled unit working together, Infinity War saw Tony Stark leading a ragtag gang of misfits in an assault against Thanos. And... Ooh, oh, you'll have to excuse me. This is all still a little bit raw, and... Ooh, I got this. I got this. The fight itself is so great because we get to see so many different dynamics. Mantis has a purpose, and we see some sublime action sequences from Spider-Man and the authoritative Tony Stark always has on-screen gravitas. Once Thanos awakes from his hypnosis, courtesy of Peter Quill, grumble grumble, we then see the always cinematic Doctor Strange join the fray, and boy does he steal the show. Number 7. Wonder Woman – No Man's Land It's hard to believe that Warner Brothers actually wanted this scene, by far the film's most iconic, cut entirely before director Patty Jenkins insisted that it remain. Actually, considering the general mismanagement of the DCEU, it's not difficult to believe at all. Like, seriously WB, what are you? Some kind of superhero franchise mismanaging squad? 
Anyway, Wonder Woman is often thought of as the best DC movie since The Dark Knight Rises, and moments like this push it into that bracket. There's the ice cool reveal of her crown as she pulls away her hair, the sumptuous rising music, and that confident no nonsense strut combining perfectly to make this moment so memorable. It's everything good superhero action should be inspiring, genuine, and the perfect representation of the character. Needless to say, if you weren't left gasping for breath after this sequence, well, someone clearly needs to stroll up outside your house and play the Wonder Woman guitar theme on demand. You know the one. No, I will not mimic it. Stop asking. Number 6. Captain America The Winter Soldier The Elevator Scene while Captain America has always had his super soldier serum, his lack of flight or other obviously supernatural power has always seen him walk in a line between the likes of Thor and Hawkeye. He's both a superhero and a regular Joe, and just about the greatest Avenger ever to have existed. This scene fully plays to Cap's unique position, jamming him and a set of enemies into a cramped elevator. As well as the scuffle with Batroc, the film features emotional fisticuffs between the two title characters, but this is still the film's most iconic action set piece. Normally quite cut and dry, we see a rare quotable line from Rogers as he asks before we get started, does anyone want to get out? From there, the claustrophobic action just gets more intense as Cap single-handedly takes out his assailants. Plus, the parody in Community was great too. Thank you, Russo Brothers. Number 5. Logan Logan vs X-24 Wolverine fans had been waiting since the first flick in 2000 to see Berserker Rage on the big screen, but maybe they should have been careful for what they wished for. Not because the scene wasn't amazing, but because of its rather tragic end. It begins with possibly the darkest action sequence of an X-Men movie ever, led by Logan himself and young killing machine X-23. Logan takes bullet after bullet for her as he rips throats open. Not that she can't handle herself either. We see her leaping through the air to take henchmen out fearlessly before the X-24 is unleashed. Also played by Hugh Jackman, the X-24 is a clone of Logan but set constantly in Berserker Rage mode. He never even speaks, save for grunts of anger. While a lot of the entries here are sleekly choreographed, this battle is raw, blood-soaked and powerful. It's so gritty and grisly that it only ends when both Logan and the X-24 are dead. Number 4. Thor Ragnarok – Battle on the Bifrost Taika Waititi's Thor Ragnarok isn't short of brilliant action spectacle, but by far the best has to be in the film's third act. The Revengers, comprised of Thor, Valkyrie and Banner, head back to Asgard to depose the tyrannical Hela from the Asgardian throne and features plenty of brilliant slow motion, lightning and the perfect use of Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. Every member gets their time to shine, whether it be Banner belatedly transforming into the Hulk to deal with Hela's wolf, Valkyrie, Loki and Heimdall fending off the hordes of Hela's forces, or Scourge combining Dez and Troy together. But it's Thor who steals the scene. Without an eye or a hammer, he devastates Hela's army, and it is brilliant, even if Asgard did bite the dust straight after. Number 3. Batman v Superman – Dawn of Justice – The Warehouse Fight Okay, so ignoring just for one second that the Batman of Zack Snyder's films is a bit of a psychopath who literally murders dozens of people, the director does deserve praise for finally delivering the Batman fight scene fans had been begging for for years, one that showed the Dark Knight taking apart a room full of thugs with brutal ease. Yep, I know he murders that dude at the end with a machine gun, but look, everything else is great. It looks like something straight out of the Arkham video games and perfectly translates the force of nature version of Batman fans have grown accustomed to in the comics. Number 2. Deadpool – On the Road Deadpool was always going to be amazing or terrible, with the slim chance it would be so terrible it was amazing. Thankfully for Ryan Reynolds and the movie going public, Deadpool was a smash hit success. 
depending on how you feel about reference-heavy humor and Reynolds' now ubiquitous performance. Breaking the Fourth Wall was always going to be a huge staple of this release, with possibly the greatest example being the shootout on the highway. The build-up to the fight itself is one of the best comic book movie car chases, before Deadpool slows things down to explain to his attackers and to the audience that he only has 12 bullets to go around. He gets two headshots right out the gate, but then three bullets are wasted on a biker. Another headshot quickly boosts his morale before the action speeds up and he scores another hilarious kill, posing on the tarmac as the henchman's clip runs dry. The next bullet takes out a grenade before a trick shot between the legs scores another in the head. Particularly vexed by this henchman though, he pumps two more rounds into his corpse. This just sets up the crowning moment of the gunfight, a triple headshot with the final bullet. Someone get those chimichangas in the oven. Number one, Captain America Civil War. Cap and Winter Soldier versus Iron Man. More so than anything else in Civil War, yes, more even than the battle at the airport, this is the moment that truly broke the Avengers apart. After Tony learns that the Winter Soldier murdered his parents, all bets are off as he launches into a fierce attack. Steve's loyalty to Bucky has never been in question, and with tensions between Cap and Iron Man frayed already, it soon turns into a two-on-one showdown. What makes so many Marvel fight scenes great is the creativity on display, and how much they use each character's uniqueness to build the scene in question. This fight is no different, with Tony attempting to overpower Bucky's metal arm as they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We then see Iron Man struggling in a fight for the first real time as Steve lands blow after blow, and Friday tells him he can't beat him hand-to-hand. -hand. Tony struggled against Obadiah Stane, Whiplash, and Killian in his solo outings, but you knew he'd always come out on top. Here, we're left in the dark. Analysis of Steve's fighting style lets him drive Cat back, but as the fight gets more desperate, the searing dialogue takes this bout to a whole new level entirely, and it's what makes it the most stunning comic book fight scene ever put to film. 